Hello everyone, this is D22 with you today. Hello for another unboxing. This is from the gaming channel and we're doing another unboxing and today's unboxing is the RCA11 Maven Pro. Now this tablet is about 109 US dollars. It's basically one of the cheaper ways to get a tablet. So here I'll just show you what the box is like. Let me just raise the camera up here. It's a beautiful day out there, but you can't see it yet. So, here is what the box says. It's an 11.6 inch display, HD, and the core capacity is 4 core processing. And there's also a 32 gigabyte storage in here. Enjoy high def clarity, wide viewing angles, and vivid colors. So, this is what the tablet looks like inside. Keyboard comes with it. And that's another view of it. And then it also contains Android 5 Lollipop. And it also has Bluetooth, HDMI connectivity, Wi-Fi certified with the Google Play Store. And it's the 11 Maven Pro with detachable keyboard. So we're going to check the sides of the box now. It supports Google Play, has dual cameras, 8-hour battery life, a 1366 by 768 display, Android 5.0 Lollipop with 32 gigabytes of storage. And then it shows all of the disclaimer information underneath here. You can go to rcatablets.com to look up this model. And then on the top, it shows you the ideal, it, well, it shows you the specs right away. The front webcam, microphone, HDMI port, micro SD card slot, rear camera, micro USB port, headphone jack, power off and on, volume up and down, and the USB port. And it just says the same thing on the side as well, plus a picture of a lady holding a tablet. And then this is the back view of the box. So it says the same thing, it's just in a back view, whereas you can also see that it's in its display view as well. This is the portrait view. So we're going to start by opening the box. And then what comes out is this. So it comes in a little cardboard insert and then the tablet itself is in this black mesh bag. So we pull it out here and the charger is there. There's no other accessories in this cardboard box but the supplied AC adapter that charges the tablet. So we're going to remove the mesh insert to reveal the tablet. So what it reveals also is a quick start guide. It has a cheap plastic feel but from the specs and from what I've seen on uh, on YouTube it looks great. So here you see the reset button, there's the SD card slot, the 2 megapixel camera in the back, and the headphone jack and the volume control buttons and then this is the USB port. So we'll give you a side view of it. There is the microphone, there's the HDMI port, there's the USB micro, the headphone jack, and everything else there. So that's it. And then we're going to open up the tablet just to show you what it's like. So there it is. It looks amazing. It looks like a portable laptop that I'm using here. So it comes with a full QWERTY keyboard here with all the shortcut keys up on the top. So it has your home, your search, your internet, email, settings, brightness, play, camera, speaker, screen off, and all that stuff. So it's basically like holding a laptop. And then there's also a trackpad here, which is pretty responsive. And then, as you can see here, the tablet detaches. So you can go from PC to tablet. And the display here, it's big. It is just so big. You can just get a full glimpse of it here. And it comes with this little tab that you can remove as a screen protector. So you can use the screen protector and keep it on there. But if you like, you can just get an accessory. So we're going to charge this tablet up and see what it does. Okay, so I had to move the AC adapter port here because it's not long enough in the kitchen. So it's currently charging right now. I'm just powering it up while it's charging just so that you can see what it's like. So as you can see here, this is the setup menu. Setting up Android was a breeze on this thing. I had no problems with entering the data and the inputs here because the keyboard was so responsive. The trackpad was smooth and everything else turned out great. Okay, so one of the things that a lot of people are wondering, does this tablet, the RCA 11 Maven Pro, play pretty decent games? It's Dead Trigger 2. Now this is a graphically intensive game, and I just installed it right now on the tablet. So we're going to see how this performs on the specifications it has right now. Okay, it didn't open up. So we're going to try again. Okay. So 
So the cutscenes, the cutscenes are pretty fluid here. I mean, so far, it's pretty astounding. So we're just going to press the screen. That's awesome. The video played really well. Let's just see how the game itself will load. With Dead Trigger being a graphically intensive game, the Maven Pro had no problems playing the intro video and also introducing the scenery here. I mean, this looks really good on here. And I'm going to be currently playing through the tutorial level just to see what it's like. And so far, it's amazing. It's very smooth using the quad-core processor. Unfortunately, the processor I could not identify because the chipset is an unknown make and model. And I mean, being an RCA tablet, there is no specification for it, but you can look it up when you get a, let's say, app that allows you to look up the specs. But I'm playing the game so far, and it is just running very, very smooth. I mean, I am just surprised myself for a tablet for $109 and to just play a game of this caliber. I am definitely impressed with this tablet and it also has a lot of other great functions so we're just going to continue with the gameplay here just to show you the capabilities of what it's like. I mean it's running on all cylinders right now and everything is just so responsive. With a game like Dead Trigger 2 that's usually graphically intensive and uses up a lot of storage, I'm very surprised. I mean, it's just, I'm just flabbergasted right now. It plays games really well, and the size of the screen, ugh, she's not having a good day, is very clear. I mean, it's huge. I mean, I'm surprised how well this is performing. I mean, so far, so good. So, I'm just going to see how far we go here, and this is just going to be a final touch-up to the video so that you can just see what the tablet is capable of. Now, unfortunately, this tablet is not sold in Canada if you're a Canadian watcher. So, basically, what you need to do is you look this up on eBay and buy it new. It's just amazing. And if you have any questions about the tablet, please send me a comment, and don't forget to like and share this video so that you can get other people to buy the tablet. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.